Thank you for the opportunity to make some remarks at this event and to share a few thoughts with you on what has been on your mind, how to succeed in today's Nigeria. I'll keep it brief and get straight to the heart of the matter. We live in a country where certain norms and practices might tempt you to believe that success or instant breakthrough in business may come overnight. As some of you may know, lasting success can only come if you commit to doing things the right way. This is not about self-righteousness. It's about understanding that a culture of unethical practices and a lack of accountability are the very things that not only retard our progress, but also keep us from being trusted and sometimes respected on the global stage. But here is the good news. By committing to doing things the right way, you can change this narrative. You can open doors and pave the way, not just for yourselves, but for numerous honest and hardworking young people in Nigeria. So today's short remark is a simple but powerful truth. If nothing changes, nothing changes. No progress will come if we don't take it upon ourselves to change. As you listen to me today, I hope you have the strength and wisdom to make the right choices that will impact you and our nation's future. Chris Catcher defines integrity as choosing your thoughts and actions based on values rather than personal gain. This concept of integrity has guided my life journey and I'm proud of the values my father inculcated in me. He became an accountant in the Eastern Region Government in 1959. He transferred to the Southeastern State Civil Service where he helped set up the treasurer of the new state during the Nigerian Civil War. During his leadership of the treasury, not a single Nigerian town went missing. I know you know that's before Naira came, became a currency in 1973. As the pioneer chief accountant and company secretary, and later acting general manager of the Southeastern State Housing Corporation of Calabar, he helped nurture the organization to pioneer massive housing development for the young states. He was also pivotal to establishing the Emirates Housing Institute. Despite his high position and influence, he lived honestly and with humility. He had only one plot of land in Calabar and did not misuse his position to enrich himself as in today's culture. He used his hard earned resources to improve the lives of his family members and community. He was indeed a selfless man of impeccable character. This was the family environment I grew up in, one of integrity, one of contentment, and one of service. The Nigerian society of that time despised people who could not account for their wealth. Unlike today, when unexplainable wealth is roundly celebrated. When I was employed by Mobile, in 1989, later Mobile, a multinational corporation with some of the strictest corporate governance practices in the world. It was effortless for me to try in such an organization for three decades. I firmly believe that you would not have invited me to serve on your advisory board if there was even the slightest doubt about my character. Given that you all have a business mindset, let's talk about business. 
starting with the understanding that today innovation and technology have erased traditional boundaries you are already talented meaning opportunities will come your way regardless of location i know some of you in Uyo already have global partners and clients and i commend you however it is important to remind you that these global opportunities come with global scrutiny therefore your progress and continued existence in this interconnected world will depend on how well you adhere to laws rules standards and ethical practices any breach even seemingly small ones can ruin their chances as john wood reminded us you must always be above board know that talent will get you to the top but it takes character and integrity to keep you there please please take time to read and, and, and understand the clauses in your contracts to avoid the violation i will happily host a corporate governance and business ethics session for you because i believe that ethical business practices are not just a choice but an obligation we all share before i close let me recall how faith plays a role in our affairs some of you may already know how i arrived you in 2020 at the peak of the covid 19 pandemic to help the apartment state government develop an economic blueprint for its recovery working with a brilliant team led by professor akman hoganiko we recognize the vital role of creative tech savvy independent minded young people like you in driving our economy forward we therefore made recommendations focused on you, the innovative, bold, and forward-thinking youth who will help shape Nigeria's future. During this period, I met Hansen Johnson and later the Onuk brothers. I was thrilled by what they were doing and with like-minded persons decided to launch the first Aquabo Tech Week in September 2021. A moment that stands as a testament to what young Nigerians can achieve when given the platform to shine. I hope you find time to read my remarks at the event titled Positioning the Aquabo Youth for Global Success in the 21st Century. My position about you has not changed. You hold the key to the renaissance of our states and Nigeria. From my perspective, it is almost too late for us, the older generation of Nigerians, to change the way we do things. The cash and carry political culture, the win at all cost philosophy, the end justifies the means business strategy and the it is our turn politics and of course we can throw in religious duplicity the hope of our country is you our youth the key to our future greatness lies in the ability to drive this innovative spirit with integrity and steadfastness while shunning the current way of doing things this culture has engendered political depredation, economic stagnation, and international distrust, and it must go. The path ahead for you may be filled with challenges, but please do not be discouraged or deterred. Technology has no boundaries. 
neither quota consideration nor political allotment impacts innovation. As I said earlier, you already have the talent. Keep thinking big. Keep pushing forward. But let integrity guide you every step of the way. Remember, the world is your oyster, and global success is not just a dream, it's within your reach. So grab it with both hands. Enjoy this year's event, and good luck. Thank you.